Hello everybody, Rich Boy here and welcome back to another video. In today's video I will be reviewing Redfall. Redfall is a vampire open world shooter game that released on May 1st of 2023. So yesterday or two days ago depending on when this video gets released. I was really hoping that this game would be a very fun experience for me and my friends to play, but it turns out it really wasn't. So without further ado, let's get into today's honest review of Red Fall. When I had first booted up the game, the gameplay looked interesting along with the head menu to say the least. Uh, when I loaded into the game, however, to play its little tutorial thing it puts you through, the gameplay was not all there. That can be um, figured for the fact they re released the quality version instead of the performance version. This makes the original frame rate, which was 60 FPS, be reduced to a 30 FPS, which for modern shooter games it makes it very choppy and overall makes the gameplay worse. Um, this was a video game developed by Arcane. Arcane is the same developers that gave us such titles as Dishonored, Prey, and Death Loop. Um, I'm not a very big fan of all of those games. Dishonored was alright, and Prey was. I don't know, it just wasn't for me. That's not saying Prey is a bad game, however. I know there are a lot of really big Prey stands that will just go after me if I talk shit about the game. But, um, anyway. It was published by Bethesda, which, you know, Bethesda is, is the goat of, um, publishing. This means they just bought the rights to the video game, or, um, Arcane sold them the rights to publish their video game to make it more popular as, you know, compared to just releasing it under the name Arcane Studios. Um, so along the releases of such hit titles as Doom, Fallout, Skyrim, uh, Wolfenstein, Steen, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, along with all of those, we have games like Redfall and Dishonored and Prey, which some people are talking about how that's Bethesda's fault, which it slightly is, but it's more so the fault, fault of Arcane making a kind of half-assed, not very well put together video game. Um, a few pros about the game, though, are the fact, is the fact that, um, all right, I'm not gonna lie to you. I spent five, I spent a few minutes thinking about it more so, and I cannot think of a single pro, which is really sad, because even games like Minecraft Legends had pros. This is not gonna be as bad as Minecraft Legends, because it's a shooter, um, but yeah. Oh, and don't even get me started on the quote unquote open world map. Look at this. What is this? It's like I moved like a little bit from the main base, which is the fire station, and it looks like I covered like one thirtieth of the map already. There's nothing. There, there's this just like I don't know how you can call that an open world game. Um. Oh, and the multiplayer. That was the whole reason I got the game was for the multiplayer. Me and my friends were so hyped for this for the longest time for the multiplayer. It comes out, and you, you guess, you guess, let me, let me just grab you real quick. You want to know what it needs? You need a minimum, a minimum of four people. Four. I, why would you need a minimum to start a game? We couldn't even play a multiplayer. Everything's so repetitive. You start a mission, there's like three vampires you need to kill, and you just keep doing that over and over and over and over and over again. There's there's like nothing That's fun about the game. Way, it's a little goofy, but I was thinking that it would be goofy and fun to play with friends, but you can't unless you have 
fucking four of them. Oh my god, this game makes me mad. Oh my god. Um. Oh god. Anyway. Let's get into the final review of Red Fall. Hello everybody. Um, next day, Adventure Boy recording here. My original rating was a 1 out of 5. I'm going to bump it up to a 2 out of 5. Because, honestly, it's not that bad. It's a pretty run-of-the-mill shooter game. Um, yeah, the my mic quality sounds different right now because I'm using my phone. Um, but if you enjoyed, I, uh, I would appreciate it if you left a comment on the next review you'd like to see. And until next time, I am Adventure Boy, and I am out. Bye.